So these are the things that we suggest that you have in order to follow along with this video series. Uh, most importantly is uh, about 20 feet of 3 8 inch nylon uh, three strand twisted rope and uh, really any twisted rope will do um, but we're suggesting this because the, uh, the nylon is nice and soft and easy to, uh, to open the lays with and it's, uh, it's a nice size, it's not too big so that it's uh, a bigger rope is much more expensive and it's not too small um, because really small stuff can be fiddly so the 3 8 uh, inch nylon is a, is a nice starting point um, just a small piece of uh, small stuff and any kind of small twine will do just to use as a temporary season you'll want to pick up a spool of uh, whipping twine uh, it comes in various sizes but pretty much anything will do um, I, I prefer to use the wax stuff but whatever's available to you is fine so whipping twine is handy stuff and uh, a, a small roll of uh, tape, electrical tape is what, what I'm using it uh, just makes for a, a quick and handy season um, you'll want a knife with a reasonably sharp blade and uh, if possible a, a, a spike it's not absolutely necessary for this especially if you're using nylon rope that's uh, easy to open uh, you can get away without a spike um, if you're using older hard laid rope and you don't have a spike you can substitute a, a flathead a small flathead screwdriver it works just fine as well and uh, also uh, completely optional is uh, a Swedish fid does the exact same thing as the spike here, uh, just helps open the, uh, the lay of the rope. But with this kind of stuff we can get by without it. But it is nice to have for future projects. So that's about all you need to, to get started and to follow along with this video series.